Hey guys, this is Tasha. I'm coming back in with another video. If this is your first time, welcome. If this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back in. Before we get started, first I want to say thank you all for my new subscribers. Thank you for hitting the subscribe button and joining in with me on my journey while I learn how to use my buy. Alrighty guys, as promised, um, today's video is going to be showing you how I'm dealing with the learning curve. Um, as you all know, I have three single needle um, brother machines. I have a PE770. I have two PE800s and those are all single needles. Um, then I went from the single needle and going to the buy. There is a learning curve. So I'm um, trying to take the positive side of things to try to learn how to use a machine. And as promised, I'll take you all along on this journey with me. So if you're interested in seeing how my first run on my machine, well, it's not really my first run on a machine, but it's my first project that I actually completed because I've been working on it and working on it. But this is the one that I actually first completed. So if you're in for the ride, hang in there. I'll be right back to get us started. Hey guys, um, in this video, um, just doing a practice stitch out on um, a denim jacket that I already had. It's the one that I wear all the time. It's actually one that I test designs out on. I actually did this one on my PE 800 some time ago just to kind of test it out. Um, I had my logo digitized and I wanted to put my logo just across the top here on the blue jean jacket. Um, I'm taking y'all along on this part of the journey with me. With my PE 800, I used to float everything. So now I'm with a buy because of type of hoops, it's a little difficult to float things because of the lip that's on the hoop. So that's going to be a challenge for me, but hey, I'm here for it. Um, to learn how to actually hoop because usually whenever you float things you just fold it in half and then just lay it on top of the hoop but um, since I have to hoop it instead of floating it that's going to be a learning curve part of the learning curve so um, y'all just hang out with me um, this is probably going to be sped up after I get it going um, but here we go all right guys to find my center I just um, took it and folded it in half and just marked the line straight down the middle here. And I don't have stabilizer that's big enough for the hoop and I'm using size, the, the large hoop. Well, it's the size B that comes with the machine. So I'm gonna kind of improvise because I don't have exactly what I need. Just gonna take these two I'm going to just turn them like so, like that. Just going to adhere them together and just cross them. And that, since this is just a test, this is going on my own jacket. Then I'll spray it again and go ahead and adhere it to the jacket. And make sure everything is flat. I'm kind of eyeballing it and hope that I get it right. Just flatten everything out. And then I'll flip it over and then go ahead and hoop it. And again, I just kind of crossed it up there.
All right, guys. After about 20 minutes trying to get this jacket hooped, I quit. <laughs> but anyway, I was having a hard time trying to hoop this because the hoop, I loosen it up as much as it will go. And then the screw actually came out of it. So it I could not get it hooped because of where this hits. It's having to go over this here, over these rough edges here, these seams here. And it, it was just too much. The hoop would not do it. Um, this would probably be a good thing to do with magnetic hoops, but not the green hoops, not tonight. So we're going to switch gears because we don't give up over here. It's so at so fervent embroidery we do not give up we're still a learning process so we're going to roll with it so the design that i have that i was going to stitch on the blue jean jacket i actually had it digitized to go on a sweatshirt so we're going to go back with a regular program I did not have enough stabilizer that's large enough for the whole thing. I just kind of cross it up there. And I'll, again, this is just for me. Okay, so I think we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, now we're going on over to the machine. I have everything hooped. And also, you want to make sure when you're putting your hoop on, this is actually the right side. Make sure that the notch is facing up. And that's what the one on the left side looks like. Make sure the notch is facing up. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and go over the arm, going through the neck of the shirt here, the neck of the sweatshirt. And make sure that's over the neck of it there. And Go into, I'm going to lift up some, and you're going over, and your head snap in. Again, I'm double checking myself to make sure that nothing's getting hung on the arm. And look like we're good to go. And first, I'll trace the um, design. Shape. I'm sure it's not going to hit. I don't know why. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Let me put some water salve on top here so my stitches don't sink in. Look at this. I knew that was going to happen. Doggone red thread. Look at this. I've seen this thread hanging down and I moved it to the side. I guess I, that wasn't enough because it's stitching right in there. Let me, let me see that where that thread is going in there. It's stitching right in there.
just coming back in just to point out some other things. Um, because again, this is a learning um a journey to learn how to use my buy. And um one thing that I did notice, um, it looks like hoop burn on there. I don't know if you see that around the side there. And I don't know, maybe it's gonna come out. I don't know, but I mean, that's I still like it. Um, also, the tricky thing with embroidery is pretty much is like the middle of the shirt, and so marking that there, that would be the middle here. But um, I think I maybe should have moved the design over a little bit. Um, I think it kind of went over more to this side be to compensate, I guess, for this here. Um, looking at the shirt, I would like the E to be dead center. So I move it over just a tad bit. Um, but looking at the way the design is in there, this is right here is pretty much the middle of the design because of the tail right here. So that's something to think about too when you when you guys are stitching things. Um, I would have moved it over. I love the way that this was digitized. The guy did a great job on it. Really nice job. And right here, I don't know if you can see that little red right there. When I was stitching the design, another needle, the thread, it, it stitched over it. So that's what that was. So um, I'll probably go and see if I can cut it out. If not, it's okay. It's for me. It's all good. So um, overall, though, these green hoops, honey, honey, <laughs> these green hoops are something else, I'll tell you. Um, I attempted to do the denim jacket just to kind of do um, the design on that. It's, that jacket was it's just a jacket that I use to test stitch things on. But um, these green hoops were not having it, okay? So I think uh, moving forward, um, the blue jean jacket would probably do better with maybe some magnetic hoops. And at some point, I plan to get magnetic hoops. But first, your girl got to make some money, right? Because they, they kind of are expensive, but they really, I think they would really help They'll be a game changer for your embroidery. Really different for the machine to be going and I don't have to sit and hold things out the way. This has been really a game changer. Um, now moving to the buy. Um, I have three single needles and anyone who's watching this video, if you have a single needle machine, I'm pretty sure you understand exactly what I'm saying. When you have to, when I say you have to move things out of the way and also at the same time watching your hands so the machine doesn't stitch over your hands and you get hurt. So um, this, this has been a game changer, um, it's a learning experience, a learning um, curve, but hey, I'm here for it. All right, guys, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on your notifications. Until next time, bye now. See you in the next video.